City Lodge owns and operates high quality affordable hotels targeted at the business community and the leisure traveler. And I suppose here the story is all about their level of exposure, depth and breadth to different consumer groupings in the market, Paul. Indeed. And in addition to their cautious, solid business model here in this country with the courtyard and the city lodge and the road lodge models, they've also stepped much more aggressively in recent times into Africa, outside of South Africa, with major new commitments to build and buy in the Nairobi area, Dar es Salaam. They're going into Kampala. It's really becoming one of those interesting growth stories. As Paul said earlier, Tsepo, we are invested in the stock. Uh, your your thoughts. Which you haven't done the market oh, cap. Done the market your cap. I was yeah. so excited to get Apple's <laughs> thoughts. What can I do? Market cap here, six point one billion Rand price to earnings of twenty point five and a dividend yield of two point nine. Now now I can uh, get to the question. It's Apple. We are invested. What do you think? Again, um, another one of those South African businesses that uh, is almost recognizing that uh, in South Africa, revenues aren't going to grow that dramatically. Um, and uh, from that, doesn't mean it means that earnings aren't going to grow that flash. So, looking for opportunities outside of South Africa, uh, Kenya, the Kenya market, uh, given uh, some of the activities of the last year, um, hasn't boded well from a tourism perspective. So, uh, there's a little bit of a dampener in terms of the results right now. Um, but certainly, I'm bullish about the prospects of of where they're investing in the continent. So, let's get the the share price up on the screen. Yeah. And Paul, you can talk to that because obviously you're watching this one closely and certainly mm. not the same downside reflected in the other stocks. Yes, it's um, an interesting five years because what has happened is that they've had all these development activities, yes, but also their occupancy levels have been rising quietly in the local market. And that's notwithstanding the market being a little bit overtraded at certain levels. Uh, austerity drive in the South African government, which is interesting, <laughs> cutting down on travel. And, you know, they've rolled out some new stuff, it must be said, here in South Africa too. Big new one out of the waterfall area on the way towards Centurion. So, I don't know. We're but positive you, about you remain it. convinced about this story and, and the long-term prospects. The one thing I will note is that part of the market views this stock as a property counter. And we know that with the sense that interest rates are rising globally, property stocks have had a rough three months. I'd be interested in Tepo's view about the extent to which this one is viewed as a property stock and whether that's a net negative. Well, there's the question, Seppo. Um, look, I, I think in your assessment of value here, you either look at it as a property company or um, look at the operational performance. I think the, the mistake people make is combining those two. Um, uh, my view is the operational performance has been solid and good enough that uh, I probably view it more as a uh, as a hotel business rather than than a property stock in particular. So Tsepo believes mm. that the hotel underpin is definitely there. I Any, agree, and I think it's doing the right things at the right pace. They've always been cautious with regard to the pace of rollouts and developments and cautious with regard to site selection. Clifford Ross, the CEO, has been in place many years. Before him, Hans Enderley. Great internal culture, good people management. Good succession planning. Happy staff. You know, they're good at what they do. They you don't try to do all sorts of other things. You sound as though you're invested in the stock. You sound as though you're invested in the stock. We've earned it at various times. I, don't, I think it was, in fact, you and Byron that picked the stock while I was uh, away. It comes back to me now. <laughs> it Let's is just a little dull. That's the only thing I will say about it. You can't expect these chaps to change their business and grow it by 50% in one year. Do I see a leaning perhaps to the more exciting story <laughs> within the Sun International fold? Well, Could that be we'll your thinking? Hot or not, Zeppo? Uh, so, so this is weird the steady eddy uh, boring business <laughs> that you know organically does good things i think is actually fully priced um uh, so i'm going to lean on the on the not hot side. not hot yeah. paul i'm hot still going to give them the hot i think there's good long-term fundamental growth here mm.